What's up guys, Johnny here, back with more Shadowgun Legends. In today's video, we take a look at the Liberator. It's a brand new legendary SMG. We now have three legendary SMGs in the game. Liberator, Plasma Blaster, and Kira. The Liberator is different though because you can buy it in the shop. It's available at Nitros. It's the new PvP shop. So you have to play Team PvP to earn these War Coins or War Points. And you need 1500 points to buy that one so 1500 points is 35 wins or 70 losses or a mix of both so the big question is is it worth the grind so we'll answer that question today we will compare the liberator with the other legendary smgs the plasma blaster and kira and we'll see how it does against these two now first impression aesthetically this thing is flawless i know it's a matter of opinion some guys will not like it and some guys will like it i think it's beautiful nice little details it's very unique it's different from uh, other smgs we have in the game uh the glowing blue the choice of colors it is a beautiful weapon i love it now i played with it for the past two days i was trying to unlock all the perks and I can say it's pretty good for PvE, it feels good, it's got a lot of ammo, but we'll check the stats now. So let's compare Liberator with Plasma Blaster and Kira. Now here's a look at the stats, the Plasma Blaster versus the Liberator. You see the Plasma Blaster has more damage, they both have the exact same range and the exact same accuracy, 0.8 and 10. The advantage for the Liberator is the fire rate and it has more bullets in the magazine. Now this is the Liberator versus the Kira SMG. You can see they have the exact same damage, 96.8 at power 270. Everything else goes to Kira, faster fire rate, a better range, and a better accuracy although it's not a big difference it's still green numbers and then the liberator still has more bullets in the mag so liberator the biggest clip in all legendary smgs but it seems to be falling a bit short in the rest of the stats now if the stats ain't that good the big question is still why would i use that or still is it worth the grind why would i play so many pvp games and spend all my war points on that one weapon my answer is just do it guys for real like why not it's a legendary it's freaking beautiful it's a collectible like why would you not want a new legendary in your collection and you can use it in pve i like it a lot and i see a lot of positive comments on the social medias a lot of guys seem to like it in pvp also so if you're an smg guy it's just one more weapon in your arsenal but the one thing we don't talk about much and i saw the comment on the facebook group is how often do you get to choose your perks on your legendary because that's exactly what's going on it's in the shop and the perks refresh every six hours when the shop refresh the perks are randomly generated again every day multiple times a day so you can just wait look at the shop every time it refresh and choose your perks now I did wait for some time before I finally decided to buy one. I was checking the shop every day for at least a week. I mean you can wait forever if you want but I wanted to try it. I wanted the weapon and I settled for these perks. I think it's pretty decent. Probably you guys maybe already have some better perks. But here are my recommendations still. Uh, since the damage seems to be uh, the weakness of this weapon compared to other SMGs. I think the number one perk you should be looking for is the extra base damage. The 10% damage is pretty big. And then the fire rate, I really like fire rate on SMGs. And then if you're gonna use it in PvE, let's go for the extra damage. Iron Sight, I know you don't use it maybe not that much on SMGs, but still it's extra damage. Uh, crit damage and damage to elites is always good for PvE. So if you have all the good damage perks, then it's extra perks. Mine has double accuracy, but you can find reload speed. You can find extra magazine, which would be pretty sick. Uh, and then, yeah, accuracy, I guess. I mean, it's never bad, right? So I'll leave you guys with some gameplay at the end. But like I said, I love this thing, guys. You guys should go for it because it's not going to be there forever. Probably later when they release seasons, uh, the content in the shop will change. And we don't know if the Liberator will still be available in the game. 
So yeah, 35 wins, 70 losses. It seems like a lot, but if you play a couple of games every day, it's just gonna happen without really trying. So there you go. Hope you enjoyed the video and the review. Leave a like if you did. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more Shadowgun Legends gameplay news and guides. I will be back soon. Watch my other videos. Take care. Junk. Extraction unit to SG. Coming low and fast for a hostile extraction. Be ready, sir.